Okay. We're just gonna take the puppies out for a walk so that they're not in here while I'm recording because otherwise it's gonna get a little bit hectic. So, special cameo. Babies? <laughs> also, I thought it was about time to give you all a little car life tour and tell you how it's going so far. Um, I know my videos have been kind of inconsistent and that's just because it's a little bit hard for me to read in the car, um, but I am getting better at it. So we're figuring out a little bit of a routine and I can finally show it a little bit. If you hear the car, I'm sorry, or the air, just ignore it. It's like 80 or 90 degrees outside right now, so I'm not turning it off. <laughs> So I'll wait for him to take these little boys out and then I will get started. Oh, that's inappropriate. Mm -hmm. They're little booty holes. Oh, <laughs> Their little buttholes are just wagging in the camera. Sorry, I'm getting <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go. Okay. All right, love you, see you, love you. See you soon. Okay, hi, I'm Cassie, welcome to my channel. It's normally about books, but right now we are going to be talking a little bit about how I live in my car. Um, a few videos ago, I talked about this and why I'm in this situation. It wasn't ideal, um, it isn't ideal, <laughs> but we are figuring it out and making the best of it. Um, a little bit into this situation, my boyfriend actually got laid off as well. So the situation has gone from bad to worse. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't really have any positive spin on it. Um, we're just doing our best, taking one day at a time. I am doing a lot of art. Um, my commissions are open, my shop is stocked. Um, if you wanna sign up for my Patreon, that would be great too, but that's not what this video is. Um, this video is just so I can share what life is like. I've talked to a lot of people since we've been in this situation. Um, this is like our third month doing this and so many people are in similar situations or very close to it. Um, so I thought maybe just like sharing what we're doing would be cool. Um, I'm very much of an overshare anyway, so yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you all a little tour of our car home right now. I do have a Prius, so we are a little bit better off than if we had just like a normal sedan or like car. Um, but it's still pretty cramped. Um, it's pretty small. We are two humans. My boyfriend is like 6'4". I am under 5'2", so it's a little bit easier for me, but also I'm chunky, so not that easy. <laughs> um, and then we have two dogs, obviously, and they're very small and they're kind of like just lap dog cuddly sorts. So they're honestly fine with it. Um, if they were bigger, it'd be a lot more difficult, but we are making it work as best as we can. Uh, so I'm just gonna go into what my car setup is like, how we do things, what we store things in, what we use, um, little things like that. This isn't gonna be very long probably. And yeah, I'll just get into it. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> okay, so we are starting the tour inside the car. Rich is still walking the dogs. You can see him out there. We have a pretty okay setup. We have these window covers, which are really, really useful because we do not have tinted windows and it's summer in California. So tinted windows would be very appreciated, but yeah, we can't afford that. So we also have this, which I'm gonna keep up for the tour and it keeps it a little bit darker in here, but um, it's just too hot otherwise. It's like 90 something degrees outside right now. Um, this is incorrect. It does not properly gauge the temperature outside for some reason. We don't know why it was doing it before we moved into the car, but now it doesn't. So uh, yeah, so I have a Prius. Ta-da! She's a beautiful girl. Her name is Ursula. So uh, when I'm talking about, so when I'm talking about my car, um, if I say Ursula, that's what I mean. Uh, I have part of my little mobile library right here. I got this book from the library. It's very recent, and I'm very excited to read it. This one has been on my TBR forever. I figured it's summertime, let's do it. And then this one is the one that my patrons voted for for me to read this month. So every month I'm gonna be doing a book club where they vote on the books that I read. And um, I do like a little video, a Patreon exclusive video. And I talk about the book like at length with spoilers and everything. So I'm gonna be doing it for this one. And I have a lot to say, let me tell you so far. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's get into the rest of the tour. So this is the front seat. It's where my boyfriend sits. He does not drive, so I am the only one who sits in the driver's seat unless he's sleeping because this one goes all the way down. I'm not going to open everything up because it's honestly pretty disorganized, but we keep like our kitchen utensils and spoons and forks and stuff in here, um, as well as like our vitamins and medic our medication, like allergy stuff, uh, aspirin, whatever. Um, but yeah, okay, so let's get into the rest of the tour. So this is my girl. She got a little banged up one time. That was my fault. Tell 
so this is right behind the driver's seat and these are more window coverings that we have they actually are fitted to our actual windows for the prius we got them online um this is my bed, which I will show you the full bed setup in a second. This is how we keep it during the day. So the dogs, again, they shed so much that we have to keep like a different blanket up top and then we shake that out and wash it frequently and everything. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, they it's mostly cloud, honestly. He just sheds so much. It's, it's such a pain because I wear mostly black too, so it's awful. Anyway, this is my like artsy entertainment bag. It has all my hobby stuff in it that I keep. And then we have a um, portable power thing down here, which it's in there safely. My purse. Um, we have more stuff under here, but I'm not going to bother going into that. You don't need to see it all. It's just bags. <laughs> we have this little thing, which I really love. It's a little fan. We got it on Amazon and it like has a little light on it as well. And it just charges with like a USB. So it helps with the airflow in the back seat for the boys. This is our back setup. So this is how we have it during the day when we're not sleeping. Obviously we have our little solar Jackery thing down here. Cause that's how we charge our Jackery. We have a cooler, my little mobile library. There's some extra face masks, but my library, <laughs> you can see it in here. I'll show you all the books in there too in this video, so you'll see it. This is what we call snack pack, and it was like the limited edition Trader Joe's pink bag, and it's so cute. I love it, and it fits a ton of stuff, so we keep like bread and just dry snacks and dry goods in here. Our cooler is very, very, very fun. It's pink. Her name is Barbie. I have stickers all over and um, most of these stickers are ones I made, but certain ones like this one is for my friend. This one is for a book release for, that I worked on with some other people. It was like part of their promotional pre-order package. Um, and then my friend sent me this one. Um, yeah, I just have a lot of stickers that I love. They're all over actually, but you can't really see them. And then we have a cooler, which is not super organized right now, unfortunately. <laughs> um, maybe I should have done that before this, but we just have these really cool little reusable Ziploc bags as well that we can seal stuff in. I really, really recommend these, even just like if you have a place to live because they come in different sizes and the pack has so many in them and they're just great. Um, have a little bit of milk this store's it's not super huge we don't have a lot of food storage here but it we shop every couple of days to make our food so it works out my friends actually pitched together to get this for us before we moved out um so i'm actually very grateful because we could not afford having a cooler and it helps us so much over here this is basically like my bathroom <laughs> it's like there's like toiletries and stuff in here. This thing has my deodorant, my skincare, all my stuff. There's dry shampoo, which I use a lot. My brush, makeup and stuff all in there. I keep it all in this bag. I did design that bag. I can't show it to you very well, but it's my shop where it was. We have our towels. We have this for the back window cover. And then underneath my blankets for bedtime go over here, but we shove them away during the day because they're just, you know, we don't want them all over the place. And then Rich and the dogs, their blankets are all over here. Um, the pups only have like these two small blankets, the rest are for Rich. So when I say Rich and the dogs, it's mostly Rich. <laughs> and then back here, we have some more dry storage. So we have like canned beans, also uh, Velcro. <laughs> and I have like medicine and stuff, well, vitamins, um, a word search book you can see in there. <laughs> And then in here we have like spices, coffee stuff. Um, this hasn't been opened yet, otherwise it would be in the fridge or the cooler. Um, yeah, tuna. We try to keep like dry foods with us so that if we get hungry, um, we don't have to like leave the park or something, you know? Oh, we also have like spare water down there. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of get it set up as it is at night so you can see it. Okay, so here is how it would be set up if I were getting into bed. It's very colorful. This seat would actually be all the way down because it goes flat. Um, so my boyfriend is over six feet tall, so he can't really fit here properly. If you can see, he's quite tall. So <laughs> he doesn't really fit here. So I'm the only one who sleeps back here. And then we just recline that seat flat back. So it's like a whole bed, but plus the foot space over there. Um, and then he can fit there. So yeah, that's it. Let me do it from the side. You can see down here that we have like more space and stuff too for the dog bag and other stuff. And then one of the, we usually move these blankets and then one of the dogs will sleep there and then one will sleep in the front seat. So these are the books in my little mobile library. This one is my, my boyfriend's book. You were in the video. Oh, sorry. We were running around so fast. <laughs> Look, see. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, this is it. Let's go to the outro. Okay, so that was a tour. Um, that's my car. That is our whole setup right now. Um, yeah, it's not like the best. Um, I know if you just like Google like car life or van life or things like that, um, there are a lot more aesthetic setups and a lot more uh, functional <laughs> setups, but we're limited in space and in just what we're driving. So we're doing our best and yeah. Okay, so uh, my next video will probably actually be about books, but I do have a big announcement soon about something we are going to be doing in the car. So I will share that as well. And again, if you want to send it to my Patreon or anything like that to support me, I would appreciate it. Totally not mandatory. Um, I just appreciate you being here and watching my videos. So thank you. And yeah, I said my name, right? I think I said my name. My name's Cassie. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.